Today we're going to build a local listing site or a business directory for local businesses. This can work as a directory for pretty much any use case, even job boards, dating sites perhaps. I don't know if I would push it that far, but anywhere where someone actually fills out a form to create a profile, it will then sync up with Google Sheets, which is powered by or powering Spread Simple. I don't know what you call it, but Spread Simple is the tool that we are gonna be using to get all of this done today. So let's actually get started. I wanna show you a local business site that I created when the pandemic struck. We can come to restaurants here and what we can see is that this is being powered by a WordPress theme that I bought and then Elementor. But if we click the actual listing for a business, we can see that I've got the menu here. And then up here in the top right corner, we have the basic name, address, phone number, as well as the website. So this is a little bit better or more in depth, but also frankly, a lot more work. Uh, let's see if we can actually do this automated through Google Forms and Google Sheets powered by Spread Simple. So we're gonna come here to google.com backslash forms and we're gonna create a Google form, uh, in which case businesses are gonna fill this out. Let's click the blank form and uh, we're gonna say claim your, and now we just need to fill it out with some basic information. So we'll do business name, address, phone number, website URL, Facebook URL, hours of operation, and then we're gonna do a profile picture in which case we're gonna say copy the image link from an online profile. And we're gonna do this instead of having it uploaded through Google Drive because I can't get that one to work. Uh, you know, it's just a limitation. And were you doing this today all free through Google? If we wanted to do this a little bit better, we would use a different form builder, more high end, uh, but maybe that'll be for a future video. So next up, we're gonna do like a menu or shopping cart URL, we'll do a video URL. And then we're gonna give them the option to add more than one image. So we'll do five images for now. So we now have our form filled out. Again, we're capturing just some basic information. It looks like a long form, but it's really not. And then here for responses, we actually wanna click this Google Sheets button and we wanna create a spreadsheet and we wanna call this local business directory and let's click create. And now we're gonna have our local business directory. And then up here, we're gonna click the share button. And then we're gonna navigate down to the get link. And we're gonna make sure that we change this to anyone with the link. And then we're gonna copy this and click done. And then we're gonna jump into Spread Simple and we are gonna create a new site. We're gonna paste in this listing site and we're gonna go ahead and get started here. Now, the best way is gonna to be to fill out our form, test it out, and then we can map this data. So let's go ahead and do that at this point. Let's come up here and let's send this link uh, to ourselves. We'll do this in an incognito window and uh, fill everything out. So let's do AI profits. And so I have filled out this information for AI profits. Now we'll click submit and now our response has been recorded. So let's actually look at the local business listing and here we'll see a timestamp as well as all of the information that we have provided. And now if we jump in here, we should be able to refresh our screen and actually have some information that we can do. So under title, we're gonna go with the business name. What I did not do here is a business description, which probably is something we wanna add. It is super easy to update all of this later. Under images, we are going to select all of the images and then let's scroll through and it looks like everything pulled in correctly. So maybe I want to remove all of that and instead under specifications, I wanna create a button now and I wanna do details and then we wanna do a details page. Let's do this and uh, then we can actually see some details on the listing. Let's enable the details page and then here we will actually give more information. So we'll go with the business name, the address, the phone number, and I think that should be good. But then under images, let's add the video URL so that we have the video URL there. All in all, I think that looks decent enough. Let's click save and let's actually publish this and let's call it business directory. 
and let's click save. So now it's been published. We can go to our business directory. We can see our business name. We can click detail and then we can see all of the details. We can click here. This menu or shopping cart URL doesn't seem to be working. That has to do with not having the HTTPS. So if we come in here and we fix this, let's actually come in and fix that and refresh our listing. And now if we click the shopping cart, we'll see that it works. So that is the problem there. Uh, that's something to make sure that you know. And then we have our pictures here so we can scroll through. Now these pictures aren't perfect, but we even embedded a video. Uh, and this is a simple local business listing site. Jumping back to the form, let's actually add a couple of additional things. Here I wanna add a business description. And then I also want to add a business category. And then for the categories, I want to have a restaurant, retail, a service, and then we'll just do real estate and others. So we've got our business categories. We've got our business description. We've now updated this. So we have some new uh, data. Let's go ahead and click send. Let's copy this link and uh, let's actually refresh our Google sheet. And what we should see here is that our new columns are added down here, uh, which will be additional stuff that then we can add into Spread Simple. So let's jump back to Spread Simple and uh, let's refresh our page. And then on our homepage now under subtitle, I actually think I wanna bring in the category. And then under text, I want to bring in the business description. And then for price, we'll put the hours of operation. And let's actually fill out our form with this business's information. So then let's just hit submit. Then let's check out our business directory and let's see it auto update. So there we can see uh, currently the hours probably don't look good right there, but I like the categories right there. I like the brief description. Then we click the detail tab and we get some basic details. So now we filled out another listing. Let's go ahead and click submit. And then on our website, our directory site, we can now refresh and we can see that we have another listing. So now we need to jump back to Spread Simple and let's actually enable some filters here and let's allow people to filter based on category. And then let's enable sorting and let's allow people to sort based on name and based on category. So now we've got a business category where people can filter based on category. And then we've got the sorting. They can sort based on name or business category. And so now let's jump up to the design elements and in the header, let's show a header up here. We'll do business directory and then we'll do a local business directory, support local businesses. Let's go ahead and change this image here and let's just browse business. So we've got the local business directory, support local businesses. So we're gonna add a link here where people can submit their business listings. Let's actually then come down to pages and links and up at the top, let's add a link and submit your business. Let's make this a primary button, paste in our Google Forms link. Let's actually see if we can open this in a pop-up. I wonder if that'll work. And then we need to actually change the design button color to black and all in all, submit your business. We've got our business directory. We can click our submit the business button and notice now it's not using the Google form because this is actually a pop-up. Uh, and then people can fill this out and maybe we wanna change this color. Let's actually jump back into Google Forms and under customized theme, we can change this color. Uh, what I would like to see Spread Simple do is have a way to put a video or put some sort of a call to action there. I've said that I think in a previous video, but that would be good. You could put a video up here, I think, as a separate button if you wanted to. This is pretty self-explanatory at this point. Again, you can scroll through, you can click view details. You can click uh, the links. You can support AI Profits by visiting our spread symbol site, support.aiprofits.com. And I hope this video has brought you some value. Uh, this is just one more use case scenario for using Spread Simple within your business or to create a business listing site. I haven't thought through every scenario. There's ways we can improve this, but this is a basic business directory. This is a foundation. And I hope this video has brought you some value. Hit the like button if you would. Helps the channel grow. Leave a comment down below. Any thoughts that you have, uh, anything that I might have missed, anything you'd like to see more of. And we'll be making more of these Spread Simple videos because 
I see a tool like this, it's powered by Google Sheets. So really it's kind of limited to your creativity as far as how many different things and different ways you can actually use it. So I'm gonna get out of here now. My name is Scott with AIProfits.com and we'll see you in the next one. Have a great day. Take care.